Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we collected some stuff. <laughs> no, we didn't collect anything. We made it here to uh, the Iconic Canyon, learned the Song of Storms, and managed to cure the soul of Sharp. In this episode, what the hell is this little girl doing? Doesn't look like we can talk to her. Um. Oh well. Let's go in the house. Alright then. So, welcome to the music box house. And. Ooh. A little dark down here. Uh, something tells me we're gonna need our uh, ocarina. Um. Hello? Anybody here? Anybody? Oh my god! Oh, wow. This mummy looks different. Sort of like it's here waiting for its human heart to be healed. We'll do something. Haven't you figured it out yet? Well, that's... Well, that... In case you didn't weren't paying attention, it was waiting for its human heart to be healed. If you haven't figured it out, now you're a dumbass. Father? Father! Pamela! What have I been doing this whole time? You haven't been doing anything. You had a bad dream. You were just having a little nightmare. Oh, Pamela. Oh my goodness. You got the gift of man! You got the Gibdo mask. This mask was once the hideous face of Pamela's father. This mask looks so real that even a Gibdo would mistake you as one of its own. Alright. Uh, let's give them some privacy. For now. Okay, that's enough. If we walk back in here... Look, Pamela's back up here. Um, what you did for my father. Thank you. But you helping us? It's a secret from my father. Whenever anything strange happens, my father immediately starts talking about doing research. And he does all kinds of crazy things, so... Once he calms down a bit, I think I'll try convincing him to quit researching in this dangerous place and go back to town. So, if my father sees you again, I'm sorry. Alrighty then. Um, let's go and talk to Pamela's father. Oh, isn't this a fairy? Is this yours, young man? I'm the famed ap academic who researches various ghosts and similar so-called supernatural phenomena. By the way, the so this song, Farewell to Gibdos, is the mu which the music box is now playing, drives away Gibdos. I discovered it after many years of researching Gibdos. In regards to ghosts, there isn't another academic uh, who can match my knowledge, so ask me anything you like. Alright, um, how about these Garo? Are you curious about that picture? That is the ghost of a ninja. Its specific, its scientific name is Garo Robe. They are merely shells that are empty on the inside. They're the shells of spies from an enemy nation sent to investigate Ikata. They have been unable to forget their living days. Even now, their spirits, emptiness cloaked in darkness, continue to spy. According to rumor, these girls frequently appear near the ranch on the far side of town, which makes absolutely no sense. Hold on, I gotta plug in my computer. Because apparently, when it's not plugged in, it tends to go dark. I don't want it to accidentally fall asleep on me. Alrighty then. So, uh, let's check this one. Are you curious about that picture? That is a mummified man. Its scientific name is Gipto. A tale in Icona tells us of a treasure that rests at the bottom of the well on the hilltop. It seems the spirits of those who became Gipdos upon entering the well in search of that treasure still linger inside been said going down there is a petrifying experience, so even the mummy hunter may become mummified. Huh. Well, there's where we need to go next. However, if I know one thing, we're going to need some items. So, I'll meet you guys at the well, on, at the top of the hill, after I've collected a few items. So give me, so give me just a little time. Alright, here we are at the well. 
Uh, I think I have everything I need. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to go jump down and see what's at the bottom. Here's what the Gibdo mask looks like, though, by the way. Yeah, looks like that. Okay. Geronimo! Or we climb down. Or fall part of the way down and then grab onto the ladder and then climb down. <laughs> Alrighty then. I believe we go this way first. This is the way that we need to go. Leave it! Leave it! Leave me something delicious to jump on. Something that sprouts when watered. Preferably five of them. Alright. Let's, uh... I managed to collect five of these before we before this, so... Ah, this! This! I bear you no remorse! Okay then, he's gone. Uh, let's see what the other guy wants. By the way, these are Gibdo that we're talking to, and should you take off your mask and approach them, the, the enemy music will start playing, which means they will attack. However, if we talk to them... I believe there's something that this, this guy wants a blue potion. I know this isn't the right way, but uh, I, it might be useful to go this way at some point. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, what's over here? Ooh, water. Ooh, fish! Yeah, I'm gonna need one of these. Good thing I went this way, huh? Right, gotta wait for these to go back up and quickly move. Ah, crap. Uh, if we talk to one of these Gibdos, I believe something deliciously fresh. Well, good thing we got a fish. And he disappears, just like the other ones. What's in this room? If I'm right, yep, this is the this is the room that I absolutely hate. I still need another fish, I think. So let's just grab another fish really quick. Okay, you know what? Come on, open your eye. Alright, and in order to get that, we need to switch to the Zora mask. Hooray! Got it one hit. Unlike normal. Um, I believe I need this. So, uh, let's grab it. And get moving really quick before, uh, this, this, uh, starts killing us. Let's talk to this one really quick. Uh, making sure I have the Gipto mask on. Leave me H2O. Crap, I don't have it. <laughs> ah, crap, I'm glitching out, I'm glitching out. So that guy needs regular water. Uh, let's see what happens when we go this way. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I, I don't remember all this crap. That was an ice keys, by the way. Um, let's try talking to one of these Gibdos. Before the freaking Lawmaster attacks me. Good thing I got that fish before I came here. So we can see what's in here. This is the right way, actually. Alright. Bring it on, Wallmaster. Yes, this is a Wallmaster. Enemies that jump from the wall and attack you. Floor Masters crawl on the floor. Alright. Uh, let's give him our Deku Nuts. Alright, then. Uh, I do know that we need to go this way at some point. Stupid piece of crap. Gotcha. Alright, let's see. I know that we need to go in here at some point. What does this guy want? Ten refreshing blasts. 
which means bombs. And if we go in here, you'll see that we have to fight Captain Planet once again. Yes, we have to fight another uh, Big Poe. However, like before, Big Poe's aren't that much of a problem. This time, however, we have the spiky, the spike traps on the floor, which, let's be honest, aren't that hard to avoid. Damn it! Missed. All right then. Uh, okay then. Sorry that my commentary has been lackluster. Uh, I'm a little distracted by thinking and whatnot. So uh, yeah, there's gonna be that. Come on, get in the bottle. Thank you. All right, let's see what's in the pot. Magic. They probably intended for you to fight uh, the the big po with magic and arrows, but I find that just using regular arrows is perfectly okay too. Alright. Oop, crap. Didn't mean to attack the Gibdo. Fortunately, he won't attack you no matter what. God damn it! He's the guy that, that needs the hop spring water. And he has something he's guarding something else that we need. Alright. So now we need bugs. So let's grab a bug. See what's in here. No nothing in the grass, that figures. Alright then. So now Go this way. Uh, let's see. I believe. What does this gift do want? Leave me something small and creepy. Good thing we got that bug! Yeah, I couldn't remember uh, which way I needed to go. Crap. I think I went the wrong way. Yep. I went the wrong way. However, I can just kill these things. And there are torches in this room. That figures. Alright, let's light one of these torches and use a Deku stick on the other ones. I can't even see the damn things. There you are. Ay -ay 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 -ay. All right, there we go. Now we got our treasure chest. Let's see what's inside of it. It's probably something like rupees. Yep, 50 rupees. Why am I not surprised? All right, let's get out of here. Let's see what this Gibdo wants. Leave it, leave it. Leave me a ghost, a big one at that. All right, then. So, we just got a big ghost. What do you say we give it to him? All right. Now we open a little more of the path that we need. Ah, crap. And with that... Wallmaster, fairly simple enemy to kill. Not that big of a deal. Ow! You motherfucker! Ow! You motherfucker! There we go. And there's another torch here. It's just an easy... It's just an easy little, uh... A little place to get more bugs. In fact, we may need a bug, so I'm gonna grab one really quick. If I need freaking milk, then I'm gonna be pissed. Ow. Ow. 
Yeah, what does this guy want? Rich in calcium. That figures. So he's the one who freaking needs... Ah, uh, goddammit. Alright. I'll see you guys after I collect to the hot water. And then I'll show you where to get the milk. Alright, here we are. Alright, here you go. Hot water. Take it. Leave me alone. Go away. Go away. Go away. And... What do you know? There's a cow in here. Well, here's a little trick that I bet you didn't know. Or maybe you did, I'm not sure. If you play a Pona song next to a cow... By the way, I might be thinking of brightening up this, uh, pl this part of the game. Just because it's really hard to see. Moo! Nice music! It reminds me of the pasture. That song just makes me want to let go and put out a lot of milk. I'll give you some to you. Milk will make you very healthy. You had your bottle filled with milk! Basically, play a Pona song near a cow, and they'll give you milk. That's an easy way to get milk in real life, too. <laughs> oh, I wish. I wish it was that simple. Hell, I wish it was, it was as simple as putting a strange tool underneath a cow. Like it is in Harvest Moon. Harvest Moon, oh, that's a fun game. Originally, I had a Let's Play of Harvest Moon, but I ended up canceling it. Damn it. Alright, here we are. Oh crap, I'm not wearing my mask! I'm not wearing my mask! Alright, there we go. Alright! Giving him the final piece of, of the puzzle. Milk. Let's, get, let's just get out of here. Alright. Here we are. Inside, at, the, at the very end of the bottom of the well. This must be where the legendary treasure is at. I bet it has something to do with these touch of torches, so what do you say we light them? Don't need to wear my Gibdo mask anymore. Okay, lit all those torches. Lit the last one. Let's light the last one. And... Huh. Treasure. I'm not surprised. Let's see what's inside. You got the mirror shield! It can reflect certain kinds of light. Press R to assume a defensive position. If you press R while Z targeting, you can move while defending yourself. Okay, if you notice, the mirror shield is actually based off the same design as one of the masks that the Happy Mask Salesman sells. So, what do you say we use our new shield and try to solve this puzzle? As soon as I can get, get a position just right. There we go. Creepy sun. And we get a ladder up there. Well, our path is blocked by that giant bo giant block, so what do you say we get rid of that, too? Alrighty then. Let's get out of here. This place is really creeping me out. Alright. Wait, what did that title and card say? Where are we? We're definitely not at the bottom of the well anymore. If we go up here... <laughs> Ancient Castle of Icona. Well, looks like we finally made it. However, I think this is a good place to, to break for an episode. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we're going to be tackling Ancient Castle of Icona. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.